I'm Prakim Maria, the quite newly appointed CEO of the National Red Meat Producers Organization. Now, um, previously I was at the University of the Free State as an associate professor in agricultural economics. I think I spent about 15 years in academics, but basically my whole career was based on the red meat industry with various research um, topics um, within the research, uh, within the red meat industry. I would say one of the biggest challenges currently in the red meat sector is definitely our animal health status. We are struggling for years now to get to a level where we can get our OIE status back as a food and health free country and can really excel in our exports. So part of the of the health situation is then also our traceability situation. We currently do not have a national traceability um, system in place. <clears throat> so that means that when food and mouth for one or other disease breaks out, we are not able to verify that the animals and the meat that we still do expert, export come from locations that is not part of, of this outbreak. So yeah, I think animal health together with the traceability system is the biggest challenges. In terms of opportunities, I think there's many. And one of the biggest is certainly the fact that we have a dual economy. And according to our calculations or other estimations, only approximately half of the red meat in a country goes to through the formal value chain, but we have a very large informal value chain as well. I think if we can formalize the informal value chain, we can add billions of rands to the red meat industry in South Africa. In terms of the goals for the RPO, I think in the short term, I would really, really try to to strengthen relationships between role players. I think not only in the red meat industry, but in agriculture as in general, there's quite a lot of perceptions that guide producers and processors and someone had a story about something and um, it does totally get out of hand of times. So I think if we can, can build good relations on, on solid facts and not perceptions, um, that will be one good thing. In the long term, I really think I would like to strengthen the RPO to become the um, primary producer organization in the country. The red meat industry remains one of the biggest agricultural industries in the country. And I cannot see why we as the organization for these producers cannot then be one of the best producers organizations um, there is. I would say my message to RPO members as well as to red meat producers in general is that we must remember that a red meat producers organization is an organization by members for members. Um, I think we heard a lot what are the RPO doing for me um, from producers. And the thing is, it is not us and them. It is a we organization. So you as a primary producer, as a member of the RPO, is part of the RPO. And um, the offices of the Red Meat Producers Organization can only function as far as the members allow them to, on the information that the members give, and also the work that the members do. So I would like to have members um, see us as one of them and not uh, us and their situation. Right, thanks everyone. Um, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it.